Okay, in this video we'll be showing how to um, put a Kinetic 6000 into demo mode. Uh, what this does is it, it allows you to um, take the voltage that is currently the Kinetics drive is wanting to run uh, to a different level. <clears throat> what I mean by that is if you have like a 230 Kinetics drive um, powered system, then you can put it in demo mode and run a servo off of 110. This is often done on the uh, kinetic tracks that um, they use in the training. So if you've ever been to a Rockwell training and you see, the, you know, a complete setup and you know, all of a sudden, you know, it's just plugged into the outlet on the wall, but you're still running the motor, you can still run a servo motor off 110. And this is how you do it. So um, <clears throat> real quick. So uh, this is just kind of give you a rough overview of the platform I'm using. I am using the 1203 USB to communicate to a uh, Kinetic 6000. I am using the um, DF1 driver that I set up. And um, let's just go ahead and go to it. So first and foremost, we want to open up Drive Tools. Well, in Links, you see that I am communicating with it. It shows the ABDF1 or uh, ABDPI um, in Drive Tools which we are going to go now we drive executive you want to go to connect drive <clears throat> so use your when you connect to the drive make sure you use the driver that you're going to use right I only have a couple drivers in here so you want to make sure you use the uh, AB DPI driver connect to it and at this point it's going to um, connect to the drive I already have actually uploaded the the drive so <clears throat> if you if you happen to do the same process and you see it it you know it took a little bit longer for you it's just because I already been aligned with this drive once uh, it's not because um, it took me the first it took like three or four minutes to upload the, the parameters to begin with um, okay so real quick we are in uh, now we're in drive tools and we do have our servo that we're connected to which is uh, just so happens in our case is a um, a 2094-BC01-M01 uh, and uh, then you, you can see all the parameters one thing I'd like to highlight is is um, first and foremost go to properties and if for some reason you get like an access level problem change your access level down here and then then you should be able to be it you should be okay so um it shows the two things that i'm connected to it shows the 1203 which is uh, 1203 usb which is what i'm using for conductivity or, or what i'm using to can talk to the drive um, it does show that and it shows its parameters um, in a video uh, before i showed how to flash this component um, so I won't get too far into that, um, but I will link the video below. Um, in this case, we want to sh put it in demo mode. Um, so I, I just open up the parameter list. I don't go through uh, each one of the, the groups. Um, this parameter, I don't think it is grouped. So what we should do is uh, do the parameter list. You want to go down to Let's see I think it's like nine yeah nine fifty two so the demo mode selection right now it's in normal mode okay so normal mode would be whatever your drive system like whatever you bought the kinetic 6000 for say you bought a kinetic 6000 and it was 400 460 volt system it's going to want for our 480 or 460 three phase to be able to actually you can do it single phase but the point of it is it's going to want the the 460 or 480 volts to run that servo motor in our case what we want to do is we want to use it as a test module right so we want to actually build a test rack so that we can do different things so we want to run the system off 110 so we throw it in demo mode and now the servo controller 
will know that it's going to run on a derated volt derated voltage. So it's going to change all the parameters that it should change to give you um, the bus status is okay. So say for instance you wanted to program something and you wanted to run something off 110, but you had a uh, your system wasn't rated off 110. Then you put it in demo mode, and what that does is it gives you the ability to program not only run it but to program the bits properly like status uh, bus status okay or something like that and um, and it would actually work so if you if you just normally tried to use bus status and the, you tried to plug it in 110 it wouldn't work it would basically just say that you know you don't have enough volt voltage you don't have the, the bus status that you should um, so and but so with doing this in demo mode right which is the 952 there's a, a couple key things you need to know. Um, with powering at 110, you do the efficiency of that drive or that motor is not near what it should be. So you shouldn't be trying to like hook up loads to it. Um, you you know you're not trying to like run machinery off 110. I would that's not what this is made for. The demo mode is made for basically demoing the system it's made to show the system can be run and can be used via 110 um, in a controlled environment so if you were setting this up for use in a um, <clears throat> in like a training or or say for instance you just wanted to use it to set it up yourself and and you know use it like that um, to to learn more I mean that's that's something you could do. Um, in this case, what we'll do is we'll come up here and uh, <clears throat> we basically want to save our system. So we want to save as. And then we, we want to call this. Um, so kinetics. Uh, kinetics. 6000 demo. And the reason I do this is so that after I've set it to demo mode, then I save the DNO file. And later on, if I ever want to change it back to, um, say I want to change it back to normal mode, um, then I would just, I would load in the, the normal mode param or the DNO file. So if I ever wanted to quickly just swap from one to another, and all of a sudden I was showing something and it, say it's been six, six, six months or 10, you know, maybe, a year down the road I can't remember what I did uh, then all of a sudden I still have the backup files so uh, if you looked at that then I have one right here right I have the normal one right here and then I have the demo mode right here so if I ever wanted to basically just run the uh, system back in demo or out of demo mode and I didn't know where this parameter was I simply just come up here open it back well I could just I could have just closed out the one so I come in here again go online with the drive Or better yet, you, we can do this. We can uh, open up the. Let's open up the the regular one. And apparently, it's taking time. So. <clears throat> okay. So. Uh, let's open up the let's open up the normal the regular one we have and we can click download the drive and just download it right back right so if we wanted to just yep yeah. sure that's all I want to do so you down right now so I put it in demo mode so that I could actually um, run it off 110 and I said okay well so now I want to put it back in production mode I want to put it back in normal mode so I can run it on this standard voltage. Then I have the DNO for that and I just load in the DNO file. Right. It's pretty simple. Um, it's just, a, you know, 
something that, that can be done. So now, um, now we want to go online with the drive and I'll show you that uh, it took. Okay, so again, let's go to uh, the perimeter that we had. And you see the demo mode is back to normal. So now on the flip side to that, let's open up the demo mode and let's download the demo mode file. So you see how easy and quick this is getting to be. Um, not to say we don't need to know where that parameter is or, or the importance of that parameter, but what we de do need to know is some quick, easy ways to get back and forth um, to set this up. Uh, in case we ever want to take this drive and put it in production again, you definitely don't want to have it on demo mode and hook up your regular voltage. Um, that's obviously going to cause problems um, or vice versa. So. And sometimes you have to cycle power under demo mode, so don't be alarmed if you change the parameter and it doesn't take because you didn't cycle power. So let's see. Yeah, so that, that was my issue. Let's just do that. Okay, so sometimes you have to cycle power. And so what I mean by that is come in here and no I don't want to reset drive properties mm. so anyway um, I don't want to I don't want to cycle the power of the drive um, I'm online with it and doing this video it's going to start getting a little bit longer but you get the gist of it um, it will save it um, if I were to cycle power but I, I kind of rushed through it the point of it is is having two separate um, files and then um, basically you know you can easily go from one to another it does take and it does save um, I just rushed through it so no big deal um, either way so that's how you change a, uh, a Kinetic 6000, no matter which one model you're running. Um, and again, you want to run this on the uh, power supply module, so it's the IMA module, um, which is, that's what I'm using. Um, it's a 2094-BC01-M01. A uh, so I'm using, this is like the front of the rack, right? So... Uh, so anyway, um, that and that's that's the one you would need to do, right? So, um, and you you should do the, all the servo drives if you're doing a rack of servo drives, you do all of them. But um, yeah, so I'll just go ahead and wrap this video up. Okay, thank you.